Guys, I, I almost didn't make today's episode because it's so controversial. I see almost every amateur golfer, when they go online, they've got the slice problem. The ball's going off the plant, they're going to the right, and it's going to the woods. They are taught to grip the club more strong like this. So turning their, their lead hand more clockwise on the grip of your right-handed player. And the stronger this grip gets, in theory, that should fix your slice. At least that's what every YouTube video says. But I'm here to tell you, this is causing a ton of problems for your golf game. One, it's causing you to have bad impact with the ball, so you're not gonna feel crispy contact. Two, you're not able to control the club face as well as you'd like. Three, it's encouraging your slice. So we're gonna look at why a strong grip attachment is hurting your game. Let's start with impact, and this was mind blowing for me because I used to teach this grip style. I'd say, you know, strong grip, neutral grip, weak grip, it's what's preference for you, it doesn't really matter. My thoughts changed an instant when I saw this. If I want to have good contact with the golf ball, your hands must be leading the club head at address, but if I want to hit my target, the club face also should be pointing at the target. So when you look at impact, it's something like this. Hands ahead and the club face much more square, not open and not too closed. Now this is how grip affects your impact. If I've got a very strong grip, meaning I'm seeing three knuckles or more with this lead hand, and I'm trying to get the hands ahead, this is what it looks like. If I'm trying to get knuckles down, hands ahead, I've de-lofted my club, so I'm not going to hit it very high, and the club face starts pointing left. So the ball is gonna go left. So for me to get a good impact position from this, this grip, this ball's going left. I'm gonna hit one, just slowly, without hurt, hurting myself. Oh my, <laughs> oh, hit the pole. That was really low, really left. And that's because if I have to create good impact, which I'm going to do that, I'm going to try and do that, I have to get in that position. But unfortunately, the face is there. Even though my hands are head, the face is left. So what happens, golfers recognize this. And they try and get their hands ahead, but they say, you know what, I hit it left, so I'm just gonna swing. For you to keep the club face square pointing at the target, instead of being knuckles down here, you're going to try and flip and scoop your hands into impact like this. Because when I flip and scoop, it keeps the club from doing this. It keeps the club square, in your case, with your strong grip. So think about it this way. Strong grip is going to lead to a flip if you want to hit it straight. So here's me with a strong grip trying to hit it straight. I'm going to have to scoop a little bit through impact here. That's the only way I can hit it straight. And I even chunked that a little bit. There's a big disadvantage to doing that because as the hands go back, that's when I start hitting behind the ball. So you have to get in this weird situation. This grip is putting you in such a weird situation. You're saying, well, either I try and get the hands ahead or I flip and keep the face square. And that's why you're not sure where the ball's going off the tee. The second thing that this grip is doing is it's encouraging your slice. The ball is going off the planet. When you get a really strong grip, at address there's a lot of cupping in this wrist. When I go to the top of backswing, it's going to lead to more cupping. Look at anybody like Fred Couples is a great example. He's got a stronger grip. Or Zach Johnson, the best example. Very strong grip. When he gets to the top, you see he's trying to keep the, face, the club face square. And he has a lot of cupping at the top. And he even has a lot of cupping swinging into impact. Now he's developed a way to make this work for him. But a lot of amateur golfers, what they do with this cupping is it forces them this way. It forces you to swing down and across and the ball goes away and it's never coming back. It's like Wilson in, in Castaway. It's just never coming back. So the second thing it's doing there, it's causing your slice. Another big problem that having a really strong grip is going to do is as you swing the club back, it naturally causes the club face to point more down. Now, I like to have it down, but it starts to do something like this, where the club goes more and more down, like that. And I'll see a lot of golfers saying, Tom, I'm hitting it left, or I'm hitting it right, and I'm struggling with this problem because they'll start off with such a, a closed club face. It's pointing so much at the ground. When they get halfway back, it's pointing back there at the camera away from the target. And when I get to impact, it's pointing way left. No wonder you're not finding the fairway. The only way to find the fairway from there is to scoop and flip like this, and I'm standing up. 
That's the only way. It's quite hopeless. So as you swing back, if you wanted to make this work for you, you'd have to rotate your hands. And that's just a lot of variables. So what I'm going to recommend that you do, and grip does matter. Don't just grip it and say, oh, I feel like gripping it strong because I've done it my whole life. No, I used to be a really strong grip guy. But once I learned this about impact, I switched immediately to a much weaker grip because when I get my thumb closer down the middle of the shaft, just a little bit off the side here, more neutral, when I get into a good impact position, I'm okay. My knuckles are down and the face is square. I could never do that with a strong grip. Look at that. It's just not gonna happen. So weakening your grip will lead to better impact. Weakening your grip will allow the club face to be squarer in the golf swing so it's not pointing down the ground too much, it's in the right spot. You won't have this cupped wrist at the top, it'll be much flatter, and that's going to help you get the club on the proper path into the ball so it goes down the middle instead of slicing or hooking. Like, we've got all this fairway to here to use, why aren't we using it? I think if you think, if you think about grip a little bit differently, and you get out of what everybody's telling you, stop doing the strong grip, start doing something that's much weaker. Weaker will allow you to control the face better. So now that ball is laser straight. I could never do that predictably with a strong grip. And the only way I could is if I did a little bit of flipping. Now I'm gonna come back to Zach Johnson because he's a pro golfer who has a really strong grip. He makes it work. When you watch him through impact though, as he's coming into the ball, he does a little bit of flipping. He has to to keep the face square. So it's a subtle flip. He's got great impact, but he has to do a little flip right there. And the only way he can make it work, a little flip. I'm trying to flip through impact. That keeps the club from closing so much and the ball is able to go straight. But I hate having to rely on that because I feel like impact is hard from there. It feels like just one giant scoop through impact. I'd rather feel that I'm driving this club down through the ball like a hammer into a nail. Whoosh. So weakening the grip, face square, and then I swing. And the ball goes straight. So just like that, it's the same spot again, instead of all over the place. So I hope this helps you think about the grip a little bit differently, and I'll be looking forward to seeing you in a future episode.